we're back sitting with Gary and these are the questions that the buyer's agents typically get when they're talking to consumers. And a lot of this we might have already covered, but I wanted to just put them all on one page so I didn't forget them. Um, how far out are you right now as a builder and how long does the process start once you hook up with them? Okay, the, uh, we're probably close to two years right now. It's, it's just where we are. Um, you know, <laughs> big, big part of that is, is, is just that just aren't enough people around here to, to do the work. Yeah. Uh, you know, when your builder says, hey, yeah, we're two years out, it's not that they don't want to do any work. It's just like, they, you know, don't want to promise that they can do something that they can't. Time and time again, get people, well, well, what if we did this? Can we move it up? But, you know, what, you know, what, if, what if I paid you a little more? It's, like, it's just, it is what it is. It you is know, what it is. And if you don't have sorry, people, but, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that makes sense. And cost per square foot, builder's grade, what does that mean versus higher end finishings? We get this all the time. Mm -hmm. The builder's grade is 250 a square foot, but Bedazzalicious is 300 to 350. So, yeah, yeah. so is that, like, is that normal? I mean, is, do you use the, like, is that accurate? Um, first, just a little inside baseball. This is a builder's least favorite question. Is, What's it cost you per square foot? Like, well, it could cost you two fifty, or it could cost you five. What, yeah. you know, what do we want to do? Exactly. Um, so it's it's hard to just throw out a number. <laughs> People always say, "What's what's this going to cost?" Just give me a number. I won't hold you to it. Yeah, well, but they always do. Why are you asking me? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's fair. Because um, it's hard. It is, but but you need some sort of a metric to be able to kind of gauge what you can have. It's like, well, can mm -hmm. I build five thousand square feet? Or, or you know what what can I build? You know, so you do have to have some numbers there. Um, Two seventy five is probably a realistic number right now okay. with everything. Um, materials have have leveled off. Okay, so that's not, good. Yeah, they're not as crazy as they were, but now the materials have leveled off. Labor has started to just shoot up through the roof, and that's part of that employee retention. Yeah. Um, it's difficult to keep people. So unless you pay them a good wage, yeah, yeah. It's, they can go down the road and get just about anything they ask for. So to, to keep, yeah. So that's the other side of that coin. That's really started to climb. So that's not helping the market right now. No. Maybe but yeah, not it's in anything right now, I think. 275? Yeah, it's okay. probably a good number, you know, it, that's it's a good average. And, you know, builder's grade is kind of a vague term. I think it's intentionally vague sometimes. Um, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, if I was going to describe builder's grade, I would say it, it's good quality, but not, you know, anything over the top, anything, okay. anything extravagant, you know. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call, call it builder's grade if it's kind of, you know, what you would call cheap. Okay. Uh, but that again is a vague term that another builder might look at differently. So that's a good point. Makes sense. Okay. Um, we have never built before. Where do we start the process? I think we've already covered that one. Yeah. Um, does the building inspector actually come out to the house? We get this question. Yes. Um, if you have a project that requires a UDC permit. Okay. You do. And that's going to be, that's going to any new house over 400 square feet and some additions and, and remodels. It depends on the town that you're in. And this, is, this will tie into another question. The, each municipality is, is responsible for their inspection process. Okay. Some require it for all additions. Some require it for additions of a certain size. Some don't require it for an addition. So if you're gonna enter into that process, the best thing to do would be to call your township okay. and ask them, who they're, they may or may not know, but the, ask them who their inspector is, and okay. you can call the inspector and they will know. So, good note. So if you have a, a guy who wants to add on a huge screen porch or master suite to their house, they would call the township to find out if they need a permit. Yes, yes, and you can do that as a homeowner or you can have your builder do it. Okay. And they can reach out and then each the municipality, they don't hire their own inspector, there's, several inspection agencies in the area that to just do that job. So it's, it's more efficient for them to hire one of these agencies to do the inspections for them. Okay. So, you know, we deal with usually two to three inspectors that just, you know, they sometimes they'll drop a contract and take a different one. And, you know, so you just, but it's, it's the same inspectors for the most part, regardless of what town you're in. There's very few towns that have their own up here because it's just not that many if you do, yep. you know, 50 houses in a year, I mean, does it pay to have your own inspector? Yeah. So interesting question, bring me of that. So is a, is a deck, lakeside deck or backyard deck considered an addition? It's 
can, you probably won't need inspections for that, but you will need a permit. Okay. If you're replacing an existing, you probably won't, but if you're adding a new one, you will. Basement finishing. It's been an uh, empty basement for 20 years. Do you need a permit to finish off the basement? Generally not. Okay. Um, I would check with your township just to be safe. Okay. A big thing with the permits, and another thing is when you draw a permit, you have two years to complete that project before okay. that permit is no longer valid. Part of that is on the UDC side, their main concern is safety. So they don't want you to be in a house that's not safe. Okay. Um, from the zoning perspective, they want you to actually complete that project. They don't want you to get the shell of your house up and wire it a little bit and then just live in it because now it's going to cost me less for taxes, but it's good enough. Yeah. They want it to be actually complete. Well, that's kind of what I was thinking because we have a lot of people who built their house and didn't finish off their basement, but then 10 years later, they finished off their basement and the square footage the county is still recording is just the, the, the off-grade right. off square footage.